We use the last part of the question first, which of the following actions by the nurse is most appropriate in administering this medication? Medication administration, right? What type of a question is this gonna be? Most appropriate in administering medication. I said farm. What does farm fall under? Freebie, that's it. Either you know it or you don't. A pregnant patient at 30 weeks is admitted to the labor and delivery unit with signs of preterm labor. Preterm labor, hello, between 20 and 37. The healthcare provider prescribes a course of bethamethasone to enhance fetal lung maturity. A steroid like bethamethasone or dexamethasone, if a patient is going into preterm labor, is there, are their lungs developed before 37 weeks? No. Do we need to make sure that their lungs, airway, 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 are developed or we can assist in developing them? Yes. What are two drugs that the board's like? Bethamethasone and dexamethasone. So it's a freebie question. Either you know it or you don't, okay? So provide dexamethasone orally or administer two doses intramuscularly. Which one is going to be more effective? Which one's going to get into the bloodstream of the baby intramuscularly. Even if I didn't know this, I'm thinking orally in a baby to help their lung maturity. I'm still thinking now, even if I don't know it, it doesn't sound right. I am sounds better. Give bethamethasone as a singular or single intramuscular injection and reassess in 24 hours. How are we gonna assess if the baby's lung is mature? We can't, we can't, right? So we're gonna do what's taught to us, administer two doses 24 hours apart. And then intravenously over 30 minutes to ensure rapid effect. This might be a little confusing, but again, with farm, either you know it or you don't. And the um, answer is in fact three. We give 12 milligrams 24 hours apart. 